Payment hubs aren't exactly new news, but loads of things have changed in the world of payments since they were first introduced about 20 years ago. From developments like crypto, cryptocurrencies, and central bank digital currencies, to new regulations and of course rocketing payment volumes around the world. And these considerations are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to payment hubs. As the world of payments shifts, banks need to keep up. And these systems are no exception. If you process payments, the time to rethink your hub was probably yesterday. I'm Jonathan Bell, and this is the Lowdown on Payment Hubs in 100 Seconds. So what are payment hubs? If you put this question to a group of payments experts, you'll receive just as many definitions as there are people. But that's simply because payment hubs are used differently by each organization. It depends on their strategic aims, their payment volumes, who they work with, and what they want to do with their data, how much visibility do they want to see of everything that's flowing through. Originally, a payment hub was a solution built to facilitate the full payments process for a specific line of payment specific flow. But as the world of payments had changed, what was once fit for purpose is now falling behind the times. So banks have also faced frustrations, of course, with payment hub vendors, who can also themselves struggle to keep up with the rate of change in the payments world. Whether that's new standards, new schemes, or just new functionality their clients want, it's difficult for all to keep up. Modern payment hubs or solutions designed to integrate with them can really help banks comply with ISO 20022 to facilitate real-time payments and to integrate with software that can better detect fraud, all good things. But knowing what you can achieve with these hubs is one thing, but what about their implementation? With these kinds of digital transformations, there are two types of approach that you can take, either gradual or a complete overhaul. Replacing the entire legacy system comes with masses of testing complexity, consuming time and money. The costs can skyrocket before the business will allow you to move from your old system A to your new system B. Often the length of the project means your requirements and the regulations are changing faster than you are, and so your requirements are out of date before you get there. How to avoid this? Well, the use of microservices means you can graft new functionality onto legacy systems. These microservices enable you to slowly atomize the customized layer of the payments platform, taking back control of in-house requirements and regulatory changes. That leaves you with a vanilla platform from the vendor that's able to be upgraded at lower risk and cost. So there's the 100 seconds, we're done. But before you go, three things. There's a lot to think about as you consider changing your payments message hub to one. Consider exactly what you want to get out of your hub in the first place. Break down your needs, work out what's the most urgent, find the best solution. Obvious stuff, but it still applies. Number two, roadmap. A two to three year roadmap is crucial. If you don't know where you're going, you will end up somewhere completely wrong, sadly. And three, learn the lessons of those banks suffering from headaches with mountains and mountains of legacy systems, legacy infrastructure. Set it up correctly to be more competitive and architecturally scalable from the get-go. So if you look at your IT department and your IT services and the functionality they've got, it might look a bit like it looks over my shoulder. It's constantly loads of things broken and there's endless change. You're always in a state of roadworks. So that's why you've got to plan this out properly. While the bonnet's up, while you're making the repairs of the engine, while you're digging up the road and fixing it, use that time effectively to drive you in a direction to take tactical short-term steps that take you towards where you want to get strategically. Think about the roadworks. Thanks for watching.